What is going on everybody? Welcome to NicheScraper.com. In today's video, we are going over how to use the product scraper tool most effectively to find winning products for your store. So let's just jump right into this here and load up the page. So what you're gonna notice is there are two tabs in this section right here. One is the AliExpress products tab and one is the Shopify products tab. I'm gonna be going over both of these, but first I'm gonna be focusing on the AliExpress products tab and then in the second half of the video, we're gonna be talking about the second tab right here. So when would you wanna use this tool? Well, this is really the bread and butter of Niche Scraper and what we are known for. We are known for our powerful web scraper, which analyzes millions of products across the web, analyzing different marketplaces, order history to tell you which products are trending and which products you can sell right now um, and have demand, that has demand in a market. So if I were to go and ask you an exercise to go on AliExpress and to show me which dog product has the most number of orders in the last seven days, could you do it? No, because AliExpress doesn't give you that information to allow you to filter and sort on that, even though it's really useful because you want to know which products are being sold right now. If you order to AliExpress, type in dog and sort by orders, most people are going to do this, and you're going to see that this product right here has you know 5,000 orders sold, but this is over the last six months. AliExpress doesn't allow you to change um, you know, over the time range of which orders are shown here. Um, and we all know in the world of e-commerce, six months is a really long time. If a product was popular five months or six months ago, it may not be popular this week. You want to see which products are selling right now. That way you get on the trend before things get saturated, before things get competitive. And it also gives you proof that things are selling for whoever is you know trying to drop ship this item. We can't do that from the basic filters here. So that's why we built some very complex filter, filters in Niche Scraper that allows you to find all the information you need as a dropshipper to find a training product. So let's go over some of the information you have available here. Uh, first, let's look at an example product. So uh, these, this first item right here is a double loop rhinestone uh, crystal keychain, I guess. This, pot, this item is doing really well right now, um, and we're gonna see why here in a second. So there are three metrics that are shown at the bottom of this product. We see alley score, growth, and competition. So the competition score essentially tells you how many different drop shippers are trying to sell this item. Uh, the lower number is better, obviously, so you know think lower competition is better. Um, so if you have a number one here, that's really good. That means there is only like one drop shipper who is making the bulk of these orders. If you have a number like 14, that's still pretty good. There's only like 14 people who are selling 790 of these orders. Um, that's awesome. But if you have a number like you know 100, that means there are a lot of different job shippers trying to sell this item and not one person is dominating the market. So you want to look for you know, a competition score that's relatively low. All right, now the growth rate is essentially how fast this item is growing. You know, how many orders it's gotten in the last seven days and whether it's trending upwards or it's trending downwards. If you want to get onto a viral product, you obviously want to be on the stage when it's trending upwards. And that's what it's going to show you right here. It's got a positive growth rate of 83%. And to further show this, we can look at the order history graph, which is this right here. Um, on the X axis, you're gonna see the dates. Uh, on the Y axis, you're gonna see the number of orders. So seven days ago on May 26, this product got 24 orders. The next day it got 30, and then 24, and then 31. So you know nothing great here, but all of a sudden we got a little bump. Maybe someone was testing it out. It got 139 orders, went down. And then on June 1st, it got 522 orders. That's nuts, right? So someone obviously figured out an audience that wants to buy this product. So there is no doubt in your mind that this product can sell. On the, I mean, June 1st is today. This is the day I'm filming right now. Someone sold 522 of these items. So there is no doubt in your mind that this product can sell, right? Because we know right here, based off the data, that this product can be sold. And there's no reason you can't come in and try to sell this on your own store as long as you can find the right audience. That's very important. You need to find the right product with the right audience. Okay, so that's what that graph is right here. The next thing we're gonna see is the Alley score. Now, this is something that we created ourselves. It's a, our own analytic system and our own number that we come up with based off of a number of different factors. And essentially, it tells you how good this product might be to drop ship. So we look at things like the growth rate. We look at competition score. We look at reviews. We look at a bunch of different metrics that tell you how good this product is. So the higher the number, the better we think this product will be to drop ship. So if you have a product with low competition, high growth rate, good reviews, you're gonna have a good alley score. 
all right so that's something you can consider and that's also something not aliexpress does not give you it doesn't analyze its own products to try, try to tell job service hey you should try to sell this item and anyone who is not a member of niche scraper is not gonna have access to this information they're not gonna know which items are trending which ones have low competition things like that so that gives you a competitive edge all right so one other metric right here is the top country this is useful when you're trying to figure out who you want, what kind of audience you want to sell this product to, which country you want to sell it to. Um, so, if it says top country is the U.S., that means that people are buying this in the U.S. People are drop shipping this item to U.S. customers, all right, and that's where the most popular market is for this item. So, when you're going on Facebook and you're choosing which country to show this product to, I would recommend testing with this country right here because you already know that it's doing well. You can always expand outwards if you need to, but when you're in your testing phases and you just want to get some sales, test this one out. I would highly recommend it. You know, with this one right here, this product is doing well in Russia. A lot, most of these orders are coming from people in Russia, so that could be something you should consider when you're trying to sell this item. All right, and this takes out a lot of the need for spending money testing different countries. You already know, based off what other job shippers are doing, where this product is you know succeeding in. All right, so a couple more numbers. 790 recent orders that means this item got sold 790 times in the last seven days do you see that why that's different than this right here this is 5,000 last six months which is not helpful this says 790 in the last seven days so this week this week we know that this item is selling it shows you the price the price range things like that you can always click on it and it'll take you right to the product on aliexpress that way you can look on it add it to your store you know contact the supplier whatever you want to do all right, so that's all the search results. Now let's talk about how you can use this to your advantage. So when you scroll up, you can see all these different metrics, and you can recognize some of them here, competition score, growth rate. You can play with it and find, try to find the products that you want. But there are some really cool ones here that I really want to show you. And the first one is the shipping from the U.S. So now you can find which products, because you know the U.S. is a very popular mar market for consumers and job shipping, you can find which products are being shipped from the U.S. by the supplier. That way, you get the fastest shipping time possible. When you ship it from China, you're going to have you know 12 to 20 days shipping. But when you ship it from the U.S., you're going to have less than a week most of the time for these products to get to the customer. Which means you know higher orders because people aren't going to be scared about you know waiting a long time for their product to arrive. You're going to have less chargebacks, less customer complaints, and honestly, it's it's going to save you a ton of headache over time. So let's go ahead and check that. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you're gonna see all the products here that are being sold, uh, or have uh, sorry that have shipping from the U.S. So let's click on this one right here, this uh, night vision rifle scope, which could be a great product to drop ship. We'll see it has a shipping op option from the U.S. here. That's really awesome. Uh, one other feature here is has video. So let's find products that has a product video made by the supplier. That way you can use it in your video ad or on your um, product page. Because we all know that videos convert much better than images, right? When people can actually see how a product works, how it's demoed, the conversion rates are through the roof compared to images. So let's click on this. And you're going to see all the um, products here that are shipping from the US, have the video, and we're sorting by Ali score right now in all products or all categories. So we can see, actually see this is the one that we just looked at. Um, has a video. So let's click play, and you can see that you know, the supplier has a video, so you can add that to your store putting your ad, whatever you want, um, but it gives you a lot of flexibility that way, at least in the testing phase, you have something to work with, right? <clears throat> you can see that this product is trending upwards, has a low competition, good alley score, uh, you know, it's, it's expensive, so you can, you know, probably mark this up a lot and get a really good profit. So, right here, here's a winning product already, and, and I wasn't even looking for anything, right? So, a few more things to know here. Uh, like I said, you can sort by all these metrics we already talked about. Um, if you are in a certain niche already, if you're maybe selling dog products, um, then you can go here and find dog products. So one thing to know is that these categories are matched with the AliExpress categories, which means that dog products are under home and garden. So the main category is home and garden. The subcategory is going to be pet products. So if you can't find your category right away, check out the subcategories first. Or better yet, go on AliExpress and see you know where that is in the category section. Let me actually show you here. Um, if you click on categories, that's going to make me sign in. Let me not do that for now. Anyways, it, it shows, um, it lines with the categories AliExpress is what I'm trying to get at. So you can see some dog products here, 
you know, this one's doing pretty well. I would maybe sell that one, right? Okay, so, um, and then maybe we want to find products that have, um, you know, under a certain competition score, so under 50 is probably a good idea. Has a minimum of a positive growth rate, so keep that at zero. Um, we'll keep the price or the alley score the same. Um, let's get rid of this category here. Um, we want to see products that have that are decently expensive, maybe minimum of five dollars. That way we can mark them up with a good profit. Um, you can see things like this. Uh, you know these are sold for eight dollars, sixty-one dollars. So you can mark this up a lot uh, for a nice profit. Um, and then you can be like, all right, if you are actually, this is a really good point. If you are, um, if you know that you are selling to customers in like Brazil or uh, U.S., for example, come in here and just set this filter, and you're gonna see the products that are selling well um, based off of the data, you know, all the filters we have set here. So these products are all selling well in the U.S. market. They ship from the U.S. They have a video. They have good, you know, uh, alley scores. Uh, these are all great. Test them out. You know. So that's how this works. Hopefully that's helpful. Now let's go on to the next tab. <clears throat> this is the Shopify products tab. And basically what this does is we are scanning other Shopify stores for the products they have added to their store. And you can see which products people are testing right now. So if you wanna see, um, for example, all dropshipping stores, and you wanna see the products they have added in the last month, then go here, business type, change it to verified dropshipping. So it's gonna show us all um, only products from verified dropshipping stores. Um, and we're gonna show products added, say within the last two weeks. <coughs> um, and yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. So we see that inspireuplift.com, they are verified dropshipping, and they have added these products all within the last week. So they're testing these out. So you can get on you know, the trend and see what products they're testing to see what's working, right? It, I mean, that's extremely powerful. There's no way, you, I mean, you have to do this manually and there's no way you can sit here and fil filter and just scroll through product and pa product that matches all these search results. <clears throat> so this is great for researching your competition, see what's working in the market, see what people are doing. And you can even come in here, change the category. You can change the max product price. So if you only see products that are under like um, $30, you can do that right here. Um, you can sort by relevance, so what that means is essentially if you type in dog into the search box, it's going to only show you products with dogs in the title right here. It has to match exactly, and it's going to show you which um, products are most relevant to your search. If you were to come in here and, um, let's go ahead and get some of these out. If you were to come in here and uh, sort by store popularity, on the other hand, it's going to show you the products that are on the most popular stores. So you know that these stores are popular, which means these products are probably being sold pretty well. So anyways, that's some things you can do. Some other things you can look at. Um, you can scroll over and see um, you know, when it, with that exact data was added, um, the type, you know, this is a dog bowl and feeder. You can see the Alexa rank of the store, which is essentially the, um, uh, the store popularity number. Uh, so the lower is better here. Um, you can click on this button right here, the AliExpress button, and it's gonna try to search for this product on AliExpress. <clears throat> but just know that since these products are showing up on Shopify, we don't know if they're sourcing it from AliExpress. They can be sourcing it from Taobao or you know Amazon or any other place, but this is a quick search to see if we can find it anywhere on the internet. Um, for this exact product, we can't, but I'm sure with some other ones we can, like this one right here, let's look for. Uh, we see some visually similar images on AliExpress. So yeah, this product is being sold on AliExpress. You can come in here and start selling it right away for yourself. Anyways, hopefully that's helpful, guys. You know, come in here, check it out every week. I like coming in here every single week, see what's trending, what's new, because this is updating in real time. We update, you know, over half a million products every single day. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is always changing with market demand, you know, over time. So the products that are trending today are not gonna be seeing that's trending next week or next month. So you can always see what's working, test out new products and find new winners. Anyways, go out and get it guys and I'll see you in the next video.